the colour and exuberance of Bollywood, fused with the staging of an American political convention. From the red, white and blue balloons to the Obama-style portrait, everything was choreographed to present the new face of India's controversial leader. This arena has hosted Elvis, Springsteen, Muhammad Ali. But today the superstar welcome was for Narendra Modi, a one-time pariah. Up until recently, he couldn't even have walked through US immigration. But today he made his entrance through an adoring Indian-American crowd. This was a rebranding exercise, national and personal, with confidence, even swagger. He predicted that this would not only be the Asian century, but the Indian century. Bharat Mata ki. God bless Mother India was the chant. What's missing from this event, of course, is mention of Narendra Modi's controversial backstory. His role as the Chief Minister of Gujarat, a state that witnessed a massacre in 2002, which he's accused of doing nothing to prevent. These protesters who gathered outside would go further. They claim the Hindu nationalist politician committed genocide against Muslims in his home state. But to his adoring fans, the riots that led to his US visa ban are easily brushed aside. So there are controversy, but he goes above everything and rises it. And he's always going to rise. He is the new leader for modern India because he's trying to transform India into, like uh, the first world countries, into one of the major powerhouses. Oh, say, can you see? Mr. Modi claimed that no Indian leader has ever received such a welcome on American soil, a boast that may well be true. And the greeting he received from what almost looked like an honor guard of U.S. lawmakers also suggested that Washington, his next stop, is prepared to forgive and forget. Nick Bryant, BBC News, New York.